Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review We Summon the Darkness, the latest film directed by Mark Myers, which will be available on VOD, courtesy of Sabin Films, on April 10th, 2020. Uh, so this is the second film this year uh, directed by Mark Myers that's getting released. Uh, his remake, Human Capital, uh, has already premiered. Uh, this film is set in 1988, Indiana, and stars Alexander Daddario, Maddie Hansen, and Amy Forsyth as a group of girls on their way to a heavy metal concert, um, only to have an altercation with a group of three young men played by Logan Miller, Austin Swift, and Kian Johnson. Uh, they make nice after the concert and go back to Alexis's home. Um, some uh, foreboding uh, mentions of serial killings at the hands of satanic cults uh, on the radio uh, are hovering in the background and uh, not to spoil anything but there's a dramatic shift in who we think uh, are the villains and uh, who are the protagonists. Um, a, a lot of this was uh, un unexpectedly enjoyable. I, I especially liked all three of the young women. I think Maddie Hansen, who is in Bobcat Goldthwaite's uh, God Bless America, is definitely a standout, as is Kian Johnson. Johnny Knoxville makes an appearance uh, as Daddario's father, who's Pastor John Henry Butler, and he has created a school uh, for wayward girls, a religious school for wayward girls called Daughters of the Dawn, which is actually uh, the name of a 1920s silent film uh, starring an all Native American cast, which I thought was amusing. Um, it was written by Alan Treza, uh, who wrote uh, Bearing the X, which was the last film Joe Dante directed in 2014, uh, and this uh, I, I thought was a, a much more well executed than that film. Um, yeah, this was definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, Shades of the Craft, uh, even Jeremy Salonay's Green Room in the setup uh, might come to mind. Uh, and I liked that it made me recall how the media was obsessed with pinning um, all these murders on satanic cults in the late 80s and early 90s, such as the Robin Hood Hill murders, uh, for instance. Uh, but it's a film that might make atheists rejoice uh, <laughs> in what it eventually uh, plays its strengths to. Uh, overall, I would give this film three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.